The emerald ash borer has been a problem in American forests for a decade. It's been in Maine for years, too, and recently reached Portland. New Center Maine's David Guildford met with experts to discuss what can and can't be done to stop this foreign insect invader. And you can see as you, as you pull this bark away. Thousands of Portland's trees are on borrowed time. The activity has been taking place for quite a while in here. The emerald ash borer is gaining more of a foothold after hitting far northern and southern Maine in prior years. Since 2019, Portland is seeing more infestations of the non-native insects that feast on and kill ash trees. And city arborist Jeff Tarling says they face no known predators right now. In places in Asia where this insect uh, was found, uh, there's natural control. In here in the United States, there isn't. Ash borers were first found in Portland here at Payson Park. Then the first trees were removed here off of District Road near Westbrook. Now these seven trees behind Lincoln Middle School are all infected and slated for removal. So it's really kind of sad. The bad news? While well, a preventative injection can offer short-term protection, once the critters get into an ash tree, there's no stopping them. It's going to, you know, decimate the ash population. Going to decimate, not might, says Davy Tree Experts District Manager Chris Plant. That's a bleak outlook, but one he still wants homeowners to face head on, saving trees and saving them money. Because plants crews won't climb an ash with borers inside. If it has ash borer in it, you're, the, the price to remove that is going to be astronomical, because now you're talking cranes. <laughs> The good news? Maine has had time to prepare. Tarling's team mapped every ash they could find in the city and compiled 600 in and around public places, high priority targets. And if there's one silver lining, it's back at Lincoln Middle School, where students will help remove the trees and plant new ones. You know, instead of just cutting the trees down and, and sanitizing it, working with the students and letting them learn about it, they, they'll bring that information home to their parents and others in the community. In Portland, David Guilford, New Center, Maine. Tarling and Plant are trying to spread word to landowners, encouraging them to have their trees professionally assessed by arborists because the, represent the preventative treatment works for two years and is the only known way to keep infestations at bay.